piercing. The blur. I like the blur. Let's go for it. Let's get that two strength. Crippling Clash pretty good. Calculate Gamble could help me, because that an injury in the deck. No, I think Crippling Clash is really good. Are we going all in? Are we going all in, guys? A Relic and a Curse, which is also strength. And then maybe we try to find ways to mitigate the, the Curses. We don't really have a way to do anything with that. Crippling Cloud upgrade is very good, but let's get the weakened uptime. The regret here. Oh. Okay, the, the big brain play is the all attack hits the regret. Will it happen? Da Ching. What's cool is that the old coin? Ooh, incense burner. Oh my. So Kaka game was interesting because it, it can maybe manage some of these curses. Now, Cloak and Dagger is nice because it dumps our do it all strength. So if we upgrade to Cloak and Dagger, that is extremely, extremely, extremely good. But Kaka Gamble also helps us manage the curses right now. But Cloak and Dagger plus with do it all is nuts. I mean, that is 7 damage times just 14 damage plus 6 block. I think the Cloak and Dagger plus is too good. I've been in a situation with... I mean, Calculate Gamble, yeah, it does help with the curses to help. No, I think Cloak and Dagger is too good. Whoa! Do we even need the Shuriken? I mean, with Cloak and Dagger, we could do, we could make something out of that. Maybe we take the Shuriken and now we get rid of the Regret. And we can be less do it all and more Shuriken. Shuriken, I mean, I would... I've killed to get Shuriken early in every silent run ever. I don't think times have changed that much, right? The thing is, I already have the Duvidol, but I mean, I can kind of step back a little bit and take the Shuriken and remove sh a Regret. The thing is, there's also Piercing Whale. I can't do all three. What's up, Muko Niho? Another thing... Like, yeah, maybe I could... Maybe I could step back and take the shuriken and remove the regret. I mean, there's a couple things we could do here. We can just go all in with the doobie and try to, like... Let's step... Let's take a step back here. Alright, I can't buy all three, yeah. You see, my math is... Grumhorn is nice. Very, very nice. So, if we do Instant Burner... The thing is, if it's like Laga... Forge really nice. Theropod is really nice. Dagger Spray is really nice. Okay. Crippling, the Cloak and Dagger is just really good upgrade. It's just so good. Back to the old days, huh? Let's do it. I did this because at next turn I have Instance Burner. I didn't want to waste it. I mean... Oh, oh man, Pog Champ. I I think we could assume we're gonna be okay in damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and full block. 
I'm hoping I'm okay in damage. Oh, man. Very nice. Very, very nice. Catalysts? Crippling Cloud? I think the deck doesn't want Catalyst, right? Poison Stab? I think we want to draw into our Cloak and Dagger as much as possible. And dump it out with Dagger Spray. Catalyst right now, we have Crippling Cloud for it, but eh, no, I think the Strength Scaling and the stuff that we're doing, Catalyst might, might only get out of the way. Choke? Mm, no. Poison Stab for another attack. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I think we. I think we. This is time to go a lot more shifts. This is a very good upgrade. I think Dagger Spray is a pretty decent upgrade as well. So we want to set this up so when we at three, right? Three. No, at four, four, five, six. We want to enter the fight at four, right? Well, how does this work? We enter it at three, right? So then when I enter it, it's fourth, and then. The, so we enter it at three. Am I am I thinking about that correctly? We have to enter this at three. So I gotta kill him in uh, four turns. I hope I can. Stall. By letting this burger get to three, it, it makes a massive difference. That three HP that I'm is nothing compared to the amount of pain I'm saving right now. Blade dance. Blade dance is pretty nice. So is infinite blades though. Infinite blades is. Kunai, I'm sorry, a shuriken every turn, and also it doesn't get messed up by slimes. You know, I can still dump my damage. So I think that's really good. In fact, I want to make sure I get that innate. And now we're taking no damage. We're taking no damage to the uh, this big attack. So life's pretty good. Now we could do crippling cloud, or save it for the second phase. Ah, we'll do it now. It's fine. So he's supposed to seventy-five. Uh, right now I have eighty-seven. Eighty-seven minus fourteen. It's too much. Too much damage. Too much damage. Are we comfortable with that damage? No, it's too much. We can go now, right? Pretty good. Twenty-seven. Fine. Most of the time, you're out. Got four more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello. Love it. Okay. So what's interesting here is that we get Adrenaline, we got Nightmare. So Nightmare Cloak and Dagger is kind of nice. Nightmare Blur is a thing. Um, Nightmare Cloak and Dagger, Nightmare Blur. So things that we could do. But then Adrenaline just makes it so I have better turns. And if I don't get energy well, like Adrenaline would help me stay alive, do more things. Yeah, Adrenaline's always good, no question. But Nightmare is for the... Uh, it's got highs and higher ceiling. For boss fights and for you know, certain elite fights. We don't have Wally planes to kind of guarantee the adrenaline. I mean, the nightmare. And if I don't get an energy relic, this feels kind of bad. So 
The hovering kite is interesting because we could actively start taking curses and we can manage the curses through hovering kite. The alternative is to do empty cage and we get rid of the injury and the strike. Let's try the kite, you know. I, I need to find Wally plants. I need to find quite a bit of stuff. Two cards. How much damage is that? Twenty one. Damn. Chosen is relentless right now. That last attack got me good, man. Eviscerate. I'm curious. Oh, interesting. I like the anchor. We need card draw, right? So... Acrobatics doesn't really work that well, right? Because it's still going to be at energy disadvantage. So maybe we just take the anchor. We were bamboozled, I know. We took a curse to get something that negates curses. Are we... Removing... I mean, the anchor... It's gonna be missed. Maybe heal hook? No. Smoke bomb just in case things get hairy. Like I can go for the sparkle and maybe take the smoke bomb. There's another shop. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a big that's gonna be a big one. Invisor is gonna be a big one. Another acrobatics, another footwork. Cloak and Dagger again. Let's say another footwork. I don't have a single footwork. Do we want a second acrobatics or do we want footwork? Who's the boss? Footwork is really good. Footwork is really good. It, can we squeeze in this elite? Yeah, I think the fact that we have uh, instance burner, manage it. Should have kept the shaving, got rid of the neutralize. Yeah. 
But that's about leaving that guy to die. But poison means I get Gremlin Heart, so it gives me an extra card to discard. Oof. Burst. Now, burst is interesting because if I upgrade burst, it gives me more for less. So, in a deck that has hovering kite, if I keep the burst and something else, I'm playing three for two, you know? Calculate Gamble is not bad, but I think since we have hovering kite, we're often playing with less cards, and the burst can help with that. On the other hand, Gamble does help also with get a Viscerate to become free. But burst, cloak, and dagger is just kind of nuts, and like I said, you can play less. Uh, we're not healing, right? We gotta upgrade the burst as well. Yeah, Game Bone Kai is not a good thing. I mean, Burst also... I mean, you could, you could also say the opposite about Burst. That it being not that great against... With the Kite, because you have less things to choose from with Burst. But I think the idea that... Damage is great. Leg sweep. Leg sweep is not bad. Take leg sweep. Matryoshka. So we did slavers. It could be Gremlin leader. We could do Gremlin leader, or we can. Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna do an elite, why not just do this one right here? So if we do another elite. Should we rest or should we upgrade bursts? So, Gremlin Leader or Book Stabbing? Um, the Instance Burner is at a bad position right now, though. That's the thing. If the Instance Burner was a little bit better. I think even with the rest, I don't want to take him. Okay, we'll, we'll take it, but. Instance Burner is a little bit. Mm. I really like the Infinite Blitz because it gives me something to play. That is not... It gives me something to play that is not the... Uh... I should have discarded Inviscerate and let the Chris go away. That's my bad. Burst Adrenaline? Get rid I don't want to have Frail, so we'll get rid of that. Mm, I need to start doing damage. I want to get Shuriken here. But I don't want to take too much damage. I mean, I feel like we got to start focusing damage. But we'll have Instant Burner coming up, so... I mean, I didn't get Shuriken there. I'm going to start pushing damage now. Burst Cloak and Dagger is so good.
11 plus 18. 29 plus 3. Damn, we're so close to lethal. Dead branch. Whoa. Whoa. What do we think about dead branch in this? I mean, I guess it's not bad because we have hovering kite, so dead branch allows us to play stuff. You know? It allows us to play stuff with the hovering kite. You know, it's kind of it's basically like card draw in a way. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Do we want to do legship on one of these guys? I'm thinking no. I didn't get shuriken there. Glass knife. I could have just taken three damage so I don't get two days, but Footwork will block, right? So if I do footwork, I could block from more. Like, if I do prepare and I hit cloak and dagger, then I'm blocking for full. But then again, I could just do blade dance, do all the damage, and then just Ori Calcum. This is me not respecting Ori Calcum, but I figured since the guy's going to die anyways, I'd rather mitigate as much damage as possible. Damn. So, double infinite blades means we can use that to discard ho Hovering Kite if we want. Or... Like, we could use that to discover Hovering Kite if we want, or we could start utilizing it as, like, card draw with Dead Branch. And then also, of course, Shuriken. So, infinite blades number two seems pretty good. But the thing about footwork is that we need to need, we're gonna need block. Um... We don't have enough block for the Collector, like... The instant burner is not enough. I think the, I think the we don't have enough block for collector, and the forward can at least help me. With two forwards, I, I have a chance to actually block. That bridge is not really block though, because I still have to play cards. Not really, because then cloak and daggers are my best card in my deck. So if I play too much dead branch, I'm not seeing cloak and daggers as much. So in a boss fight, the bloating of Dead Branch is actually pretty bad. Um, it's pretty bad, just because we want to be playing Cloak and Daggers, because they're just the best way to scale our strength and also do block. The footwork number two of figure is better. But I mean, if anything, I, I guess I can get rid of... Oof. So Tactician helps us get energy, right? Like, when you have Hovering Kite, Tactician is, seems pretty good. I'm neglecting another Cloak and Dagger. But Tactician means that if I were to do Dead Branch stuff, I would have more energy to do it. Because Tactician is like... <sighs> if I upgrade this, with the Dead Branch, I'm actually getting energy surplus. And the thing is, I need to rest. I would love to upgrade like something. Something like Tactician or Second Infinite Blades, etc. Hmm. 
malaise. Mm -hmm. That's your bad, Judy. Don't feel bad. Dun, 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 dun. It's pretty good. Just for the poison or for the weaken. But I can mitigate damage by doing something else. If I do unload... <laughs> I did, that's the only card I didn't want to hit. Unfortunate. Damn, that's juicy. How you doing, Judy? What have you been up to? That branch is gonna start messing me up. I guess we think about that later. Think about that later. <laughs> The forward seems pretty good, so I can start, you know, blocking. But I also just want to go for straight damage. If I go for straight damage, I mean, can you guys blame me? So I could do like forward glass knife, or I could just do. Oh, next turn we're taking no damage. It's an incense burner. But I still think I want footwork. But incense burner is pretty cool. Pretty good timing. The instant burner is, is is so invaluable. So here we get nine nine ten. All right, so it's 18, 28, plus 45. 28 plus 45 is uh, 73. 72, sorry. 73, my math, 73. Plus four, we are three damage off. Three damage off, and that is unless the, the ship says something else. Let's just do this. After image. We have guaranteed lethal next turn, though. Like if I did the other play, I, I would have survived and had guaranteed lethal. Interesting. Yeah, it's an ominous health number. Let's not look at that. Storm of Steel in Venom. In Venom, upgrade would be kind of interesting to get a little... I don't, I don't think damage is my problem. Like, in Venom gives you more damage. I don't think that's an issue. You just started playing Anthem? How is it? You think in Venom with Shivs? But it's almost like a win more in a sense. Like... I don't necessarily need the... I have shuriken scaling. I don't need venom on top of it. I think Storm of Steel might be bad because it might just... I, I'm already discarding my hands or two cards from my hand for Hovering Kite. This wants to discard more and get more Dead Branch, which is just filling my deck with random stuff, which, uh, it's not really... This feels like a skip. I mean, both time could be interesting because we can... Not even, though. Not even. I mean, that's, that feels like something to do Wristblade, but let's not jump there. Let's not jump to Wristblade just yet. Let's take a look at some of the options, right? We can get rid of three strikes with Astrolab and see what we get. Um, we could do Lizard Tail, so this deck is kind of aggressive, and maybe we'll be 
So with Instant Burner, we can take... We can survive against the heart with Instant Burner, and then we have our damage scaling. But maybe we can only survive for so long. Lizard Tail comes in, and then by the time Lizard Tail is in effect, we are finishing the heart with our strength. So Lizard Tail might be good for an aggressive deck like this. Let Instant Burner take the front half of mitigation, and then Lizard Tail take the second half. I think the wrist blade is um it's a nice I mean you could treat it like three strength for my shifts, which is not bad. It's not bad. It's like a three strength for my shifts. I think wrist blade is a lot of damage, but damage only takes you so far. The instant burner can't save me from everything. You like looter shooters? I've got two infinite blades and I've got one, two, three cloak and daggers, which sometimes also becomes bursted. So, like on every turn, I'm getting value out of the wrist blade. And you don't think lizard tail might come in handy, you know? Okay, let's do it. You know what? It, it, it looks cool. We got some shuriken, we got some uh, some doofy doll, we got a wrist blade. Okay, okay. Um, let's force elite early no matter what. Let's go this way. Yep, neutralize is also increased. Not wrong, not wrong. Burst. Whoa. This is a play. This is a play. After image. Oh my god. With well they plans. Okay. If you put well they plans in my actual deck. It's game over. Give me after image as well. Another so too many infinite blades. It, it awaken one, right? Okay, we might be able to avoid awaken one, but I think three. I think three infinite blades is too much. Uh, also, <laughs> three infinite blades is too much, right? No, slice is not free because I have to discard cards, so nothing is really free. Time meter becomes a problem. Uh, playing all these shivs against the heart without after image is a problem. The amount of dead branch RNG I'm getting becomes overwhelming a little bit. So. So that's why I. That's why I think it's too much. Sneaky strike? Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Sneaky strike. Sneaky strike. Sneaky strike. Damn it. I had it. I had the sneaky strike. We were sneaky. We were sneaky with the strikey. I remember the run that I had that was like... Uh, I remember the run that I had that was, uh, <laughs> like, Sneaky Strike doubled. With Necronomicon and, like, Hovering Kite. It was actually insane. So, Expertise is pretty good, no? Finisher, I mean, with the amount of shivs and the strength gain, this is probably an insane amount of damage. But, I think we, you know, we're okay for our damage. We're okay for our damage. We figured... We've got damage in spades. Let's round out the deck in other ways. And expertise seems to be pretty good with 
I mean, with Dead Branch, it makes it a little bit worse, actually. With Dead Branch, I'm not... My hands are not often that empty. Because the problem with the expertise... Yeah, the Dead Branch makes it so that it doesn't really get that much value. It looks more like win more, yeah. I feel like... Yeah, it'll be crazy amount of damage, but we don't need that. We don't need that. If anything, we might even take a Deflect, just to... No. You've had I've had actually had plenty of play. What do you mean? What do you mean I've had actually plenty of play? What are you, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The dead branch. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Instant burner is a little far away, but we're doing it. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, it's already too late, we're doing it. It's already happening, ready in process. Whew. How much is this? It's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. It's gonna be... 42. That's a lot of damage. It's GG. Mango. Dodge and roll? I feel like we need a little bit more block, right? So dodge and roll seems fine. We'll keep taking that dodge roll plus. We could skip, but we have a footwork. It's a dodge roll plus. I, I feel okay with this. We need block to come from the form of like after image or something. I mean, luckily here we have instant sprinter on. Coming up. This fight is something else. It's got a block, and the next turn we can be completely aggressive. This fight's a pain in the butt. I don't have a switch, but if I had a switch, I would get Slayer's Prime on the switch any day. Because I actually want to switch real bad. Because Tetris 99. Because of Tetris 99, but also... Smash. I used... I should have went for like... I should have went for the damage. We gotta go for the damage now. We're still taking too much damage, though. Tetris 99 is free. Guys, I, I played Tetris with friends. Like, I used to do play Tetris years ago. I would play Tetris. Competitive Tetris, you know. And Tetris for friends or whatever. <clears throat> And then they made a battle royale Tetris. I was like, oh my god, I gotta play that. And then it sucks that it's Switch only. I was so bummed. I'm trying to find like a an online mod of it. I think Mo Pimo can mod it and maybe get Tetris 99 on the PC. Yeah, I know we have Fair in the Bottle. So this part's not on Switch yet. Oof. Okay, so if we add cards, Master Strategy would be pretty good. Panic Button seems pretty good too. Apotheosis? We like Apotheosis, right? We like Apotheosis. 
Like, okay, it may not get played right away, but when it's played, we like it, right? Because it can upgrade the dead branch stuff, but it also upgrades... I mean, I get value out of it. Panic button? Panic button works really pr pretty well with Instance Burner. <sighs> Rest. The upper temperature cats also means I can keep resting because my deck is kind of aggressive. I kind of want this guy to die, so that I could... Maybe play Infinite Blades, you know what I mean? I really want to play Infinite Blades, so... It's not available for foam to tablet yet. This is a good panic button turn, and then then we have instant burner on the f next the turn after this. Hey, is this the panic button turn? Is it the panic button turn? Uh, I feel like it might be, but maybe we don't want the. I mean, I still want the weaken. Damn, dude, not having cards to play it feels bad. Between the weaken, which could be a kill. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. We don't panic button, right? I mean, we could just to not take damage. But the next turn we need to make sure. And the turn after that we have instant, so next turn we need to Oh we are I didn't expect them to attack twice. Oh we are screwed. I didn't expect them to attack twice. I did not expect this. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Whoa. So 12 plus 60, 72. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm sorry. I did the math wrong. Uh, 70, 84. 84. Okay, 89. We can make it even more. We can make it even more. We put a finisher into our deck. I'm changing my mind about finisher. I'm changing my mind about finisher a little bit. I'm changing my mind. For sets, no, nah, I think I like finisher. Okay, so backup prep. Yo, take care, Ken the G. Backup. I mean, it's free. I'm not. I'm not gonna say no. But I, okay, I didn't have a decision in them. I don't know why I was acting like I had a decision there. Apotheosis, Pog Champ. Pog Champ. What's up, El Nadion? Boom, boom, doo, doo, doo. 
Well, well, well. This is awkward. Man, finisher is something else. It is something else. This guy is going to be a pain to kill. Dash. Dash gives me block. The deck is getting kind of fat. Perpetual, I'm gonna hit me up on. I'm gonna hit you up on Discord later tonight, okay? I didn't perpetual. I'm hitting you up on Discord later tonight. <clears throat> okay. Dash. 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 I mean, the block feels so paltry on Dash. High value card, yeah, when you have lots of discard, things, things that are like, consolidated, like Dash are pretty nice. Pennip and Finisher is gonna be disgusting. Whoa! Anthony! I didn't need all this, Anthony. Okay. Question here is... Question here is, are we okay against the heart? Man, Anthony, he's like, I believe in you, Jeremiah. Give him a shuriken, kunai, mm -hmm. and since burner, he loves that one. He likes uh, dead branch, he likes that too. Uh, not the ironclad, but what he likes it. Give him a uh, hovering kai, make it spicy. Okay, fine. Anthony made it happen. <clears throat> okay, let's go. We need after image. Yeah. We do. Yes, we do. Ah, burst is pretty good. Burst plus is pretty good. Um, tactician seems to be pretty good as well. The thing is, we could recall. Because we have apotheosis. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Finisher is going to be a spicy cookie. One spicy, spicy cookie. Night Prowler Cat, thanks so much for trying. Welcome to the germ pool, buddy. I don't know why the alerts elude me. Hmm. Instant burner, I'm wasting it. Okay, we need to hit. Uh, we gotta focus on instant burner. So instant burner, it doesn't really matter against oh, the Deca. Okay. The the one thing about this deck is uh, like fights that take too long. Once I shuffle back into my deck with the dead branch. We're not feeling that great. Another Cloak and Dagger? I feel like we're taking every Cloak and Dagger we see. Okay, so we can no longer heal. Eh. We can heal to full. So we get another Curse, which is more strength, right? And uh, we can another target to discard. I have Omomori, yeah. The question is, we have Omomori, so we don't get the curse, and we get the full heal, but eh. Wouldn't we rather a rare relic? Yeah, we don't get a curse, we have Omomori, you're right. Wouldn't we rather a rare relic? 
Okay, so a rare relic could be We were, yeah, we have some rare relics already. We have instant burner we like. We have gold coin. All right, that's out of the way. We've got dead branch, that's out of the way. We've got a mango, that's out of the way. Um, so we can get a shovel. Hey, eh, we don't want the shovel. We got dude all. We got a lot of good rare relics. So we could get a gambling chip, get a shovel, and get a peace pipe, and get Tori, which would be great. Tori would be. 100% worth it. Um, it's also thread and needle. Blue candle is not a rare relic, but Tori. I mean, we've weeded out enough that the chance of getting Tori. Okay, what else? There's Tori. There's gambling chip. There is the shovel, the toke. Yeah, I think the fact that we can get it, Tori. You know, like a reasonable, reasonable chance of getting Tori is not bad. Oh, that was Pendib. Oh, uh, whatever. Oof. One with hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba ba bum ba ba bum. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Burfits, earn calipers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, my God. This is going to be disgusting. Jaku, nice. Another footwork. I think another footwork could help me get more block, right? We have Kunai. We have one footwork. A second footwork at least can give me some block base. To then, um, you know, hopefully have time to get some Kunai going on the instant burner in between. I don't think I need two decks. I mean, if I use instant burner properly, I could get some Kunai and then also utilize Dex Pot to not need footwork. Mummified Hand and Wrist Blade Synergies? I think so. I think Mummified Hand and Wrist Blade have synergies, yes. Or maybe not. Actually, I don't know about that. Time Eater could be a reason we need footwork, yes. And even against Dono and Deco, where we're not going to have as many cards, we're going to be getting a lot of days. Yeah, we should drink the fruit juice. All right, I'll do this. Oh, we almost got the, the last piece, huh? We, we need Ornamental Fan. Sneaky Strike is not bad, right? I mean, it seems like it's not necessary. I think Piercing Wheel is very good. Very good for both Donor Deco, very good for the Act 4 Elite, very good for the Heart. I mean, I don't know how reliable we're going to get it because of the artifacts, but... Um, you know, it's very nice to have in the deck. And then we can remove a Strike. Although removal movie doesn't feel that great with hovering kite, because I'm often just discarding strikes. We could save gold. Yeah, we could save gold for Act 4. So I could take the sneaky I mean I could take piercing wall here and remove. I mean save. Cow traps, we already have a cow traps. Um I'm I don't take the piercing wall. Nah, we're gonna keep the curses because we got Duvido out of it and we can always discard the curses pretty reliably. <clears throat> I don't know if I need to rest. I mean, I guess I should rest because we have Apotheosis of anything, but if I don't rest, one thing I want to upgrade is Cloak and Dagger plus maybe Apotheosis to make it cheaper or maybe even Tactician. Or Bursts. But if I rest, then I'm, I'm not only resting for this fight, but for the fight after. Do I do, do, I do piercing well now? Ooh, 
reflex. Uh, I want to play infinite blades. We're taking a hit. Taking the hit. This gets rid of their uh, artifacts. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. See, that's problematic just because... It's making the deck pretty fat. Piercing well now. So we can do blur or we can get a Kunai proc and a Shuriken proc. The guy's pretty low on life. So let's preserve life here. Because he's getting pretty low. Save instant burner for the next, like for the awakened one. We want to get panic one is pretty good. We want this to be on three for awakened one. That's pendant, right? That's a hundred damage, though. That's pretty damn good. So if I do this, this is going to be how much? 16 plus 22. 16 plus 22 is enough to kill him anyways. Nice. All right. So if we put this the instant burner at three, maybe we're okay here. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That's another pendant. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, so I think I want to get full workout. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Terra now. I think Terra could be pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Yikes. That's my bad. Alright, we played a lot of shiz. Okay, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll be fine.
Clean lots of stuff. So if I do burst defense, I the, the next one gets played, right? Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't. I guess we could have known that. We gotta start doing damage. So maybe finisher was my way to like just destroy with pendant. But we gotta go. We gotta pop off here. We gotta pop off here. I, I guess that's fine. Leave it at that. Really? Next sure is Instance Burner. I want more cards to play next turn. I think we'd end turn here. The next turn is Instant Burner, which means, like, if I I could do Shiv Strike Bane because of Nunchaku, but if I were to end turn here, the next turn I have a free turn. Yeah, I could play three cards. I can go one, two, three, because of Nunchaku. But if I do that, then he's going to force him to heal. If I do nothing right now, then he... I have a free turn because of Instant Burner. Um, and then I can go for like... But then I won't have enough cards to play. So at least next turn, I have the ability to... Uh, Next turn, I have the ability to maybe finish him off with Pendib, or just have a lot more cards I can play next turn, like Finisher. I'm hoping we get... I was hoping for something that wasn't it. This might be it, though. Might be it. We'll see. Gotta be careful here. I mean, I can get another Kunai proc. Problem is the instant burner. Like, ideally, we want to end it. We want to end it um, at four, and this is not at four. So that's problematic. Act four elite might kick my ass pretty bad. Okay. Let's rest again. The resting is like... Okay, I think we're going to have to rest. But I mean, upgrade-wise... Okay, so against the heart, open turns. What is something that I feel like I really need to be upgraded? I mean, I could, I, could, I guess the panic button. But no, I mean, I just think we just need... We need life here. We need life here. Alright, what do we got? Home of hands. <laughs> okay. Pantograph, another infinite blades, another panic button. So panic button number two is not bad, right? If I space them out properly, you know, that could be that could save my life. That could save my life. Or maybe we can just buy a power potion here. Mm. Panic button is awkward without infinite blades. I mean without after image. At least the power potion could be after image. Panic button is scary because I don't have all the plans. If I have all the plans, then I can kind of 
utilize it properly. Uh, let's just do this. Alright, we gotta leave this at 4 at the end of this fight if we can. Okay, do we do Dix Purify for this fight to save life? Is this the power? No, power potion we're gonna use on the, the boss. The heart. The panic button's bad here just because next turn is gonna be a rough one. Next one is a doozy. Next turn they're attacking even more than this, right? Well, actually, no, because next turn what happens is sometimes just the guy on the right attacks. But there's also times where they're both attacking for crazy amounts. Anthony, I'm going to need your coding advice here. Are they attacking both next turn, or is it going to be the left guy is doing like a debuff thing, and the guy on the right is attacking me for four times four? So it's like 10 times four or something? I still don't want to take 10 times four. Uh, if I get while they play some power potion, I can hold on to this. Oh well. Ten times four. We saw that happening, but my god, we are getting wrecked. I think we do dexterity pot. It's gonna save me a lot of life in this fight, no? Man. I also didn't get attacked for Kunai Shurik in there. Oh man, I, I should have done that earlier, I suppose. This is not going well. Vincent's burner wasn't able to, to do its thing. At least we have Pearson Whale. Problem is, Tripling Cloud is not actually doing what I need to do. This could be a good bullet time. This could be a good bullet time. What is this? Uh, is it a good bullet time? Yeah. We have Callus for that. Awkward instant burner, man. Just awkward stuff. I mean, just now. Just now we got the incense. I mean, infinite blaze is probably what I need to be playing. But I want to get more dead branch stuff. So finishers are going to have to use to kill this man. I don't even know if that's enough. The finisher that is. It's going to be... Um, 44. It's not enough. If I was able to get one more energy here. I could do this, this, and then that. Um. Damn. It's 36. Nah, we're not gonna ferry. We, we, we survive. But I wanna end this at 4. Couch ups is nice. Okay, if I do... 
Maybe it's better to do couch ups, couch ups defense. So we could do sucker punch. Finisher won't even be pen nibs. Wait, my bad. Sucker punch finisher defend gives me kunai and shuriken. But couch ups. Couch ups plus defend is doing 40 damage back to him. 40 damage back. Well, this is only doing. Ah, oh, it's doing 30, 32. Okay, okay, okay. Lots of dexterity here. That is uh, 70 damage. I want to end this uh, the, the instance burner at four, so you know I gotta try to keep that as a possibility. I can even try to stack up Munchaku, but we gotta do more damage than this. I want to leave the instance burner at four, though. We got two HP. Ay, ay, ay. I'm wasting pen if I don't care. Okay, it's at four. Give me like <laughs> Well they plants, yes. Okay, four HP in a dream. Yay, we have a lot of shivs and we don't have a after image. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we are so screwed, it's unbelievable. It's Actually absurd how screwed we are. I Okay. Kunai. The weak is very nice. Uh I can't get Kunai. I mean I can, luckily. Weaken. Infinite Cow traps. We have to play cow traps. What am I? Who am I kidding? Okay, instant burner. Instant burner. Instant burner. Oh, I have like potions. Okay, another well, they plants. I don't mind that. Okay, okay, okay. This is the turn to do burst cloak and dagger. This is the turn. Because we only take one damage. Okay. If all attack doesn't hit the eviscerate, we can do some damage. Oh, we could do in venom. Could do in venom. If I do in damn. I wish I could do in Venom and Eviscerate. Whew. I think Venom will help our damage a little bit. What's up, David? We need Hold on to Piercing Will for next turn. So, all attack potentially is messing that up. In fact, I want to hold on to like Burst Piercing. So, because of that, all attack is too risky. 
So we're gonna go ahead and just do this. Okay, in Venom. We could do in Venom or we could do Poison Type Eviscerate, and that gives us a Kunai and a Shuriken proc. So we're up to five dexterity. But I need I need to do burst piercing, so let's do this. I mean, I don't even need the burst piercing. I could have hold on to infinite blades there. We have more infinite blades in our deck. Like, I don't need to do the burst piercing. That was foolish. We got pendive. That's, that's a really bad pendive, but it'll come and it'll go. Okay, we'll play the infinite blades. And this is nice because I can get rid of the artifacts. Which will be nice for malaise coming up. And we just gotta make sure we do like 200 damage a turn. I'm gonna have to hold on to piercing again. Um, the thing is, we could find blur. We gotta do piercing, and then we gotta let the instant spurter come back up. The weak is quite nice, though, for like weakening and piercing for after this phase is really useful. So I wanna hold on to both of those. Blur is nice. The blur is very nice. It's pretty top tier. Let me put my doggy on my lap. It's actually really nice. The blur is so nice. Oh man, I gotta get my doggy in my lap. Okay, this is oof, oof. That's a huge finisher. I'm gonna hold on to finisher for the next turn, right? Ah, uh, no, we should hold on to for the instant burner turn. We gotta try to manage it for the instant burner turn. Ah. Uh, if anything, we do have the. So if we can't block next turn, we have Fury in the Bottle for next turn. And then we have instant burner on the following. And then we should. If we could do damage now. Alright, so if we do damage now. And then next turn, we have Fairy, worst case scenario. And then. We do 200, 200, and then the, the, that turn we have a free turn so we can do damage, and then the turn after that is incense. So if we do damage now, next turn, as long as we try to do as much damage as possible, we should be able to win by the time Instant Burner comes. Okay, let me see. This is awkward. It's not really the damage I was hoping for. Ooh. Oh, my pog champ. So, Apotheosis. Oh, man. Okay, okay. I actually like the Shiv. Apotheosis is really good, but we want to play... We don't want to play Footwork, right? Alright, so we want to play Cloak and Dagger, Dodge and Roll. Okay. We need to do the Weaken. Alright, let me do... If I want to see how much, it's been thirty-five. If I just do cloak and dagger, I can get some shivs and then do dodge and roll, right? So I can play. Is doing 
six damage. So it's six damage I'm taking, plus I'm gaining back 12 minus two. I'm gaining back 10. So I can play this. I wonder if I could afford to do finisher on this turn. No. Catalyst is not bad. The thing is, we don't need the... I mean, preserving the fairy in the bottle is nice. And Dodger allows me to play more cards next turn, so... I mean, I like the Apotheosis, but I wonder if Catalyst is better. Is Catalyst better than Apotheosis? What if I do Apotheosis and Catalyst? No. Next turn we have Void. Um... Apotheosis right now. So we're about to shuffle back into the deck. It makes everything that we got upgraded. It shows a bad turn, but next turn doesn't matter because he's not doing anything. And then the turn after I have incense. So I guess we could do apotheosis. This feels fine. And it's up to I brought the shovel back into our deck, and it's apotheosis is really good for that moment. Double dodge and roll is actually really good. But next turn we have incense burner, so we don't need double dodge and roll. Oof. See, the thing is... Okay. I really want to get the Kunai proc. We have Finisher with Pennib. Oof. Okay, okay, maybe that's just better to do now. Because at least I get the damage out, and then next turn we want to get as much damage as possible. No, he's buffing himself now, and then now next turn he's going to be attacking, but I have Incense. And then turn after we have Fairy. So we just got to do, like, try to do 400 damage. I can't do that much, though, unfortunately. But I think we just play this anyways. Worst case scenario, we hold on to Panic Button. So we have Fairy plus Instance plus Panic Button. I want to do Dodge and Roll so I can have room to breathe next turn, but... Okay, bullet time. Okay, okay. Do we want to play bullet time this turn? Maybe. I like the infinite blades, because that can start... Right now, I'm missing damage. And infinite blades, what it does for me is... It allows me to... Um, It allows me to start getting the damage I need to kill him. Because we're, we're, we're almost there. Okay. That's a lot of damage. I didn't want to do bullet time there. Um, you can play how many more cards? We're, we're about to win, guys. We can hold on to panic. We have fairy as well. We just need to be able to do 200 in the next two turns. Uh, we're totally fine. I think we're about to win. Um, infinite blades versus... Let's get another proc. We can play another. Oh, we have, this is intangible turn. What am I talking about? All right, so then we just now we just win, right? Because we we play um, panic button or fairy in the bottle, and then we just gotta do damage. We didn't take a single point of damage this fight. Instant burner is just amazing when you can get it in rhythm. We don't need the leg sweep. I mean, I don't even need. To be honest, I don't even need the, uh... I could do Panic Button. Because if I do Panic Button with the Blur next turn, we just win next turn. 
but we can, we can play it safe. We play it safe. Play it safe here. But should be GG. We did it, baby. I think that was flawless. 4 HP, no problem. No after image either. Beautiful. Guys, Anthony. Anthony gave me the deck. Alright. I guess we'll call it there, guys. Because my dog is crying. I don't know if you guys hear him. He's crying as to use the bathroom. GG. Hovering kite. Best relic in the game.